Well, good morning and welcome to beautiful St. Augustine, Florida, here at the Leitner Museum. Oh yeah, we're about to have some fun. We are going into this Leitner Museum. You know why? Because it's one of the coolest ones around. Plus, it's in this crazy, spooky old building. What is that even about? I don't know. I mean, I know, but you're gonna know too. And from every angle of this place, it's definitely got something interesting like this. I don't know if this really has anything to do with this uh, actual building here, but it's a cool statue of Don Pedro Menendez de Aviles. There he is right up there. Ah, oh, he just looks so cool. Oh yeah. Let's get spooked. One thing that is pretty cool, once you walk in here, there's actually this really cool, like, this, this garden. I don't, what is this, a garden? A square? Some sort of thing? But it's really pretty. It's obviously a very popular place to take pictures because it is very picturesque. And just uh, the, the light coming in, it's just, uh, it's a beautiful place. They'd agree. This building was not just a museum all the time. It used to be a hotel. This was the Alcazar Hotel. It's been listed on the National Register of Historic Places by the United States Department of the Interior. But, in our case, for now, this is the museum. All right, so we've paid our dues and we are now about to go. Ooh, I'm stuck. Look at that. That's how you tell that we are allowed to be in here. Anyways, look at the things. Look at that. <laughs> Take a little 360 degree view of this room here. Yeah, this is the music room. All kinds of really neat musical items. There's a pipe organ. That That is definitely pretty cool. This little music roll, I think. I don't know what it's called, but it's got all these little pegs on it. And then I guess you put it inside of there and uh, plays you a nice little tune. And then we've got these interesting items here that definitely go together. Right next to this. Look at that guy, there's a chicken machine. So you put your money in there, you hit the little activation button or lever. It does its little jig and out comes an egg. Oh look. Oop, can I show that? I don't know if I can show that. That's where the egg comes out. And check this box out, right? This is definitely some sort of old machine. Look at these weird things inside of it. It's an influence machine? What the heck does all this stuff do? What how does this influence anything other than I don't know. Influenced my curiosity to be peaked. Ooh, speaking of peak, look in there. There's a little peak inside. All right, now we've stepped into this gallery and look. Look right here. It's a dude riding a, a he's riding a goat. That is some fancy urns there. It definitely earned my respect. Oh man, look at these Fancy rooms with these fancy things here. Wow, that is just too fancy. It usually says do not touch, but in this case, we can touch. Why are we touching it? Compare the visual and tactile differences. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh. Look at that, we're in a museum and we got to touch something. What else can we touch? Can we touch that? Can we touch all of those? Ooh, what about, what about all those? You think we can, wow, just everywhere you look is something pretty interesting. Chairs, palm readers, bulls fighting bears. I think this was the, like, bath room? Not the bathroom, but like the steam room, right? Every view looks epic. It sounds cool. There's definitely a lot of neat collections in here, and check this out. Look at these steins. Look at that dude. Huh. Oh, yeah, they've even got... Das Boot. Well, we stepped into this little east room to find all these little things. Look at this little boat. And then you can even see like the little pillows and little brochures and stuff. And even this here, look at this car. I think this is is this a steam car? I don't know, but it's got one of them Uber horns. Yeah. 
painted some of these pieces of furniture here. They have some surprising things on it that are kind of weird. Like, you know, like look at that face. That's a, that's a pretty weird face, but not just that one. Look at that one behind it. I don't know about you, but I, I would not sit in that chair. But I do gotta say that this is beautiful. Look at the textures on this. This is another chair, not quite as scary here, but still uh, interesting nonetheless. Uh, maybe I spoke too soon. It's got one of those scary faces in it. I don't want to give the wrong impression. St. Augustine has something to offer for everyone, whether you're into history, art, design, or just drinking with your friends. Sometimes you just find something that catches your attention and makes you think, hmm, what's that there for? In any case, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed it. Thanks to Jeremy and Kara from the Magic Geekdom for visiting with us today. Go check out their channel for a veritable smorgasbord of eclectic content from all across the nation. In any case, we'll see you guys in the next one. As far as we're concerned, yeah, that's pretty cool. Mm -hmm.